Hey YouTubers, Redneck Brian here. As you can see, we're back out with the HT3813 Honda. Got some maybe good news. The rad fluid has went down, so it's leaving me to think that most of the air bubbles are out of the system. I haven't started this up in a few days. Uh, thank you for everyone who commented on my last video. I am going to try everything. But the first one I'm going to try is... I'm going to fill the system back up with water, or sorry, not water, the antifreeze, and maybe the stock stop leak stuff, and then I'm going to run it with the rad cap off, just let all the air bubbles come out. So I'm going to see if that helps first, and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll squeeze the uh, rad hoses as well. So you can see there's a little bit of water in this hose here. So the upper rad hose has water in it, but this rad hose doesn't sound like it has much in it at all so so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to add some more water to it in a couple minutes any freeze water to it in a couple minutes and then we'll add some more of that stop leak stuff that may have helped but I moved this back as you can see I got some puddles on the ground I don't know what they're necessarily from I have no idea uh, they might, I think they're just the leftover water that was sitting on the hood, and then it just came off the hood and came off the frame from whenever I flushed it. So let's start it up quickly, see what happens. It's going to start, I know that. Maybe. Hmm. That was truly a cold start. It is approximately five degrees. No, sorry, it's about eight to ten degrees out here right now, and it's Halloween, so it's, it's Sunday. It's gonna be one cold Halloween night. So that water level didn't even go do nothing much in there. But so what I'm gonna do is fill the system back up, let it run. I'm probably not gonna do this today. Probably tomorrow. And we'll leave the rod cap off again all night, but like I said, I'm going to fill the system back up. We'll do that right now. Uh, I was going to put sea foam in there, but I'm just hesitant on putting sea foam in, into the uh, rod. I'm not sure what it's going to do. So, the sea foam is cheap enough. I can just, I can just get more of it, but I'm kind of afraid to put sea foam in the rod. There, put more of this stuff in there. This goo. See, it's going down. It's going down relatively quick. So that means it's it's not full at all. I just hope whenever I go to change the uh, rad fluid, that this stuff won't be like plugging up the uh, plugging up the uh, outlet, or when I go to change the water pump. So I think I'm not going to put any more of this stuff in there because it's designed for a car. It's pretty thick. As you can see there's still bubbles coming out of it. Hard to say if the system's full. But like I said, I'm not going to do anything about it until uh, probably tomorrow. Stick the rad cap back on. No debris gets in there. We're gonna close up the hood. So again, like I said, we go in the shop. Thank you very much for all your comments. Yes, my shop's a little bit of a mess right now. Not too bad. It's an organized mess. So I'm trying to get the upstairs situated with my little sitting area. I got some lights to work on in the next couple days upstairs and I got the snow blower to dig out tomorrow because we're supposed to be getting snow in the next couple days. Won't be needing it in exactly but it's good to have it out and ready. And that's the water and antifreeze mix right there. 
that's, that's what it came out of it, and that's also has oil in it. That's why it's so dark. I gotta find a container to dump that into. I do have some in the house. So yeah, and I'd like to get the Onan's carburetor pulled off and uh, cleaned. I'm hoping I don't have to rebuild it, but I'm hoping I can just take it off and clean it. And the Onan might be running. Maybe. Also, I gotta change the oil on the compressor. I gotta find out how to change the oil on the compressor. And I'm gonna put uh, 530 in it for the winter. And then once it starts getting warm again, I'll put, uh, I'll just put uh, the standard oil back in. Or I'll just put the old oil back in, because it's still good, as far as I know, as long as there's not any clumps or nothing in it. So that's it for now. Also, I got my satellite TV hooked up. This little box is on top of the TV. And I got a satellite dish outside here. So that concludes this video. Um, I know, like, one more thing. Uh, some people were saying put sea foam in there. I'm just worried what the sea foam will do to the uh, rad hoses and stuff like that. That's the main reason why I don't really want to put sea foam in the rad. Because it's just, I don't know what it's going to do. Um, I've not, I just don't know. And they didn't recommend, I asked the guy uh, at uh, Napa and he doesn't recommend doing it either. So, I don't, I don't know. We'll see. That concludes this video. Also, actually, one more thing. I may try to put some sea, th sea foam through the Onan and see if that will clean up the carburetor in the Onan before I uh, clean it right out, take it off. Or I'll take it off, clean it up that way, and then sea foam it. Because the Onan will start, but it's very hard to start. Like, you gotta, you got to prime it through the carburetor and get the, get the fuel up to there. And... Yes, the fuel pump is working, so I know that's not the issue. So I'll talk to you guys later. Keep it redneck, and uh, please subscribe and comment. And one last peek at the Honda.